when I get you back, oh yeah. When I get you back, oh yeah. When I get you back, oh yeah. Welcome back to 30 Days in the Studio. This is day three, and today I am looking at Schmincke neutral colors. I did this painting last week as a little study to try and use all the colors that I have in Schmincke, really bright colors and lots of them, in a painting that isn't just linear or geometric. I wanted to do something organic and I wanted to combine my love for plants and flowers and in particular right now I'm really into leaves that are quite architectural and have unique shapes so I want to combine the architectural leaves with something that is full of colour and also not necessarily representing the subject matter, the leaves or flowers in the colour they actually are. And this is the first idea I did. This was taken from a photo I took at the Royal Botanical Gardens here in Edinburgh last week. It was in their glass house and they have these big leaves and they're great shapes. And I used the mask pen in the 0.8 mil to outline the structural shapes of these leaves. And I wanted to do that because I remembered Back in school, we did batik, you know, when you use wax to outline white lines on a piece of fabric and then you fill the rest with fabric paint. And I remember that being so much fun and a lot more relaxed than the traditional watercolour where you have to be very, very careful where you put your brush. When you outline it with something thick like a batik wax, it just becomes more relaxing because it's kind of like colouring book without having to worry about going over the lines. And I wanted to recreate that film in watercolour. So I wanted the thick white outlines that's masked out and then really strong colours. And that's why I chose Schmincke because I've recently learned that Schmincke is actually really, really bright. So I did these colours the subject matter in bright colours but then in the background I was like well I don't want to do that in bright colours because then the subject will get lost. Let's throw some neutrals in there as a contrast and it worked really well. The only problem being I only have about five tubes of neutral colours. So doing this painting has taught me that neutrals are important. So these are the 14 colors I bought. I know they're 15 twos, but these two are the same. I just, they didn't have the 15 mils. So I bought two of the five mils instead. So all we're gonna do today is pour these into palettes and then swatch them onto my swatch card so I have good reference in my swatch library. I'm also gonna throw in the cobalt to green turquoise and the rutite to yellow in there, oh, off the camera because I haven't pulled this in yet as they said new to me as well.
that's all the colors dried. I'm really happy with these colors, except for maybe the root yellow it's a little bit opaque for my liking and I have lots of really nice transparent yellow colors anyway I would say the rutite yellow is very similar to the Naples yellow but the neutrals I'm very happy with maybe here it's a little bit too red I'm not quite sure yet I'll see how it goes I'm gonna do a few more studies like this using these neutral colors and see how they go and then do a large piece because you guys know I love doing large pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of In The Studio. Thank you so much to my patrons for all your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.